The 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic is approaching this month, as is the re-release of the blockbuster movie, the second highest grossing film of all time. A Victoria historian is fascinated with the Titanic story, so much so that he has written several pieces about it. The latest chronicling the experiences of Canadian journalists covered the story of the century. And he and his wife are soon to set sail themselves to the place where the ship that was supposed to be unsinkable went down 100 years ago. CTV Stephanie Sherlock has the story. It would almost be unbelievable if there wasn't a reference to the Titanic, Titanic yeah. considering its history. That's our, only, that's our only reference to it. That lone reference is a promotional poster created in 1911, a year before the Titanic's lone voyage. There is an ongoing fascination with what was called in 1912 the story of the century. This former history teacher has spent many hours researching and writing about the ill-fated vessel and the people on board. We always have something interesting to talk about. April 14, 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg, broke in pieces and sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. More than two-thirds of the people on board going down with the ship. And it was the story of the century because the Titanic was thought to be unsinkable. It was the story of the century. And now, a century later, that story continues to be told. And magazines, newspaper articles, television news reports, movies, and even books such as this, in which Michael has written a chapter. There were many, many unanswered questions. And some of them are still unanswered today. It does look like what we saw, right? To mark the upcoming 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, Michael and his wife will join other aficionados, as he calls them, on an anniversary cruise. Really marking a historical event, there's such a significant um, feeling about that. Leaving from New York, this ship will travel to Halifax and then out to sea, where it will rendezvous with a ship from the UK at the Titanic's final resting place. No, at 2.20 a.m. on April 15th, there will be a commemoration uh, between the two ships and over 2,000 passengers. Look at this model, isn't this lovely? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The pair are prepared to be moved. They're also preparing to have a little fun as well. We know that there are going to be at least two events where dressing up will be encouraged. After all, it is a cruise. Michael will diarize this historical trip and plans to write about it when he gets back. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.